Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to match some colors. Okay, so right now there is no continuity between these images, and you really need to have a connection between them. You know, maybe you have a connection because the subjects are the same. These are all nature. But you want to think about all the different ways you can connect between the features of your collage. So one of those is to match the colors between them. And the way you match colors is first of all you need to know that it's a destructive method so I tend to make a duplicate layer whenever I want to match colors so let's start with matching the color of the sky so I'm gonna to go to my sky layer and just to make sure I have an, another version of it in case I don't like what I do I'm going to take this and duplicate it by dragging it into the new layer icon now notice that it did make a change down here. The transparency on top of itself kind of uh, messed up the bottom. No problem, I'll just turn off the original and we will rename this sky copy as something more relevant. Let's do it sky match. Okay, so it's going to be matched color. Now I also have some other layers that I haven't properly named and I don't want to start getting confused. As I start to have so many layers, I really need to make sure I am renaming my layers properly. So I'm going to make this background copy 4 here, this tree. I'm just going to call it tree. Uh, background copy 2, I'm going to call it um, pink flower original. So I'm going to put orange. Okay. This one here, I'm going to call it pink flower. And then this background copy up here is actually the gravestone. Alright. So now that I have a little more organization here, I'm going to be at a more better position to adjust my stuff and start to organize this document. Also, uh, it's also a good idea to have organization, you know, some type of plan within your layer so that if somebody else looks at it, they know what's going on. They can read your document. So I'm going to click on sky match because that's the color or that's the image that I want to change. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Photoshop take the colors from my pink flower and apply them to the sky. And no, it's not going to make a pink sky. It's going to make an awesome sky. So let me show you how this works. You have to have the layer selected and you go to Image Adjustments and Match Color. Now, once you get to Match Color, it's going to bring up one of the weirdest dialog boxes that Photoshop has. In fact, it's weird because you start down at the bottom. What it's asking you to do is to check the source, and that is the where you want to get the colors from. In so this case, we're going to click on this none the little arrow here, and we wanted to get it from the document we are currently working on, which is the Lone Tree Sky Merged. So find whichever one is is the one you're currently working in. Okay, so I find that, and then it's going to ask me what layer do I want to match it with. I'm going to tell it to do it with the pink flower. So you notice how that immediately creates this this hue in the sky, this pinker hue in the sky. Now at this point you can start to adjust it. Now this is where you'd want to maybe do a couple things. First I want you to see what the luminance does. Okay, That makes it really bright. So the brightest colors in here end up being the brightest colors inside the sky. I can make it darker and you see what that does. Okay, I'll leave it at, at 100. And then color intensity makes it super bright. Or you see how it just kind of fades it almost like you're in an old movie. Okay. I'll leave that around 100. The one I tend to mostly look with or work with is the uh, fade bar here. And that just takes it down a little bit. So if it's too much right at the beginning, just take it down a little bit to where you just have a hint of this pink coming through in the sky. That makes a visual connection between the two parts of the image saying, hey, sky, I belong here with you, flower. All right. If you click neutralize, I want you to see how that does take a little bit of the, the it chokes it out a little bit to where you don't have such a, a vibrant, intense situation. You see how that brings it back. I really like uh, leaving neutralize off in this situation. Now, once you get it, you can also preview it in and out so you can see what they were before and after was. And you can just see how that really warms up the sky and makes it connect. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, after I've matched the colors of the sky, you can actually turn on your old sky and determine it how it looks as well. And I honestly 
really like what I've done with the sky. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the tree. And because I'm not sure if I'll like it in the end, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my tree layer. And we're going to call this tree matched, right? Tree match. And I'm going to turn off the original tree layer. So now I have this matched tree and I'm going to do the same thing. So make sure you're on the layer you want to change. Go to image, adjustments, match color. And I want to choose this document. Lone, sky, lone Tree Sky Merged, and I'm going to tell it to match with the pink flower again. Ooh, that's way too much. Definitely need to take that down. Let's see if I can take that down some. Okay, and see what Neutralize does. I think Neutralize is really making a good difference in this situation. Let's see. All right, so something something around there. So not to where the, the dirt down here and the grass doesn't get so pink that it's you know it couldn't possibly be there like that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So you can see how there's a huge difference between those as well. You can see how that really makes it a lot different. Now with regard to, regards to the gravestone, I'm not going to match that right now because we're going to treat that one differently. So what I wanted you to do is just make sure you've matched your elements to each other. You know, Pick one to say, hey, this is the image, this is the color I want to have throughout my document and make it work across all your different layers. And remember that it is a destructive edit, so you want to have a duplicate layer just in case you need to go back to the original. And that's it for this video.